Joining us, Megan Bibb elections officials could be back to square one in the search for a permanent election supervisor. It comes after the county commission delayed its vote on who gets that position. Anthony Montalto explains how the selection process works and why they still haven't made a decision. So here's how it works. The Board of Elections provides a recommendation or two to the Make and Bib Commission, and then they get the final say on who gets the job. It's been here, and I guess, within the Bibb County organization for a couple of weeks now. It all came down to a vote at Tuesday's Make and Bib Commission meeting. Commissioner Wynn, how do you vote? No. In a 6-3 to three decision, commissioners chose to delay the decision that would give Kenitra Ford the supervisor of elections job. When Commissioner Virgil Watkins asked to add a discussion on Ford's nomination to the agenda, uh, motion fails. They voted no, and that was that. I don't know that we have enough information on the one candidate, and personally I'd like to see two candidates or three. Watkins believes Ford's rejection stems from a 2020 tweet commenting on Kamala Harris as vice president. That's according to reporting from our partners at Mercer's Center for Collaborative Journalism. Commissioner Bill Howell voted against the motion, and he says he didn't know anything about the post. He says it's possible Ford could still get the job. I'd rather us wait a month and make sure that we get the right candidate rather than rush into this. This job's been open since January, and I hate that it's come up right here when we're at the primary, but to me it's better that we get the right person for the job than to rush a position. In the meantime, he says things are in good hands with interim election supervisor Tom Gillen. Elections are going fairly smoothly. Uh, we haven't had a huge turnout. Uh, there haven't been any particular lines, but we've had a, a steady flow of voters. In Macon, Anthony Montalto, 13 WMAC News. Gillen encourages everyone to get out and vote in this election. Wednesday, the county reposted the elections supervisor job on its website. The application closes June 21st.